it's amazing. We drove past here just a few minutes before we sort of started the game drive. You can see a single thing. It just shows you how easily you can miss even a big herd of buffalo. Nice and relaxed here. We've sort of arrived off to the front side of the herd. There's some more and more coming out. There's some more further back as well. There should be a whole bunch more coming out as we sit here over the next few minutes. Quite a few. I don't know which herd this is. Obviously being away for a while. I don't know which herds are moving around at the moment. From what I can see at the moment, I'd say at least 200 odd buffalo here, maybe more. And we'll keep an eye out for any individuals that we can recognize. Maybe some of the bulls we know. There's also one or two of the big cows in these herds that I can recognize normally. So I might get an idea of who's around just now. Just look at how green that grass is. And that's why these animals are full of energy. Young bulls like these guys playing around a bit, a bit of horn wrestling, practicing and exercising for when they're older and need to do it with more meaning behind it. is one of the great things about summertime. Lots of good food available, lots of water, so that means the animals actually have excess energy to mess around a little bit. <laughs> you can see even the younger calves and some of the cows as well bit of a jump in their step every now and again. Also just a good time to just reassert different hierarchy positions. Older cow maybe reminding younger calf that don't forget respect your elders, respect the more dominant animals in the group. It's the only way big herd animals like these can, can get along is if there's good group dynamics and, and social structures. I don't know where to look at the moment. There's so many of them coming out. Some of the herd already, the front end has moved off towards our left. Closer on our right hand side, you're sort of coming straight from the east. More coming out as well. This is a little one in there as well. Actually, quite a nice group to look at now. Very healthy looking female walking off to the right there. She's giving us bit of a look trying to sniff us but the breeze is not great at the moment they can't actually pick up our scent it's coming almost from them towards us you can see they're trying though those wet noses just testing the breeze now, buffalo do actually have calves throughout the year but by far the majority of the young ones are born through summertime so quite soon over the next few months we'll start seeing lots of um, little buffalo calves and of course lots of small antelope. You guys haven't seen baby Polly yet Rob? I saw one. You've seen not, one? Not a good sight. Okay. Very quick. So the first one has been born. We'll try and see maybe we find the second one in the area this afternoon. Today is one of those days where I almost feel like getting out and eating some of this grass as well. It just looks delicious. It's so lush and green with a little bit of rain we had over the last two days. 
and also because we had quite a, quite a lot of overcast weather you get that lighter green color by tomorrow if you have a full day of sunlight everything will be a little bit darker again just as that photosynthesis really kicks off but for the moment it just looks like one big salad bowl out here and I can assure you buffalo don't mind that <laughs>